My name's Helen Melville Kenny, and I am one of the school councillors here at ISH. Um, that's a really good question, and probably if you ask five different people, you'd get five different answers. Um, for me, it's very literal interpretation of self-esteem. It is the esteem with which you hold yourself. So it's it's how you think about yourself, how how good you think you are, or how bad you think you are. Uh, I think self-esteem is really important to teenagers and, and people of all ages actually, it's not just teenagers, but yeah, I think it's a really important thing because it really affects, like I say, it's how, it's how you view yourself, how, how good or bad you think yourself is, so that obviously has a big impact on how you think and how you behave. I would say like five. Uh, I think I'd be a 6, 6.5, 0. 7, 6. Solid 9. Like a low key 5? Solid 5, weak 6. Yeah. I guess they'd probably also give me a 5. 7, 8, maybe? Uh, well, it's hard because like, I see myself every day and I notice the flaws about myself. Um, I hope more than other people will notice them, so I guess a 6. I don't know, for me, if, if it's me, I'll just read myself, I'll just say, I'm nine, for me, that's my opinion of myself. 7.5. 5.7. Things. If you imagine um, that your self-esteem is such that you really don't believe you're any good at anything, you are then also going to believe, yeah, I'm, I'm no good as a person, nobody's going to like me. Um, what's the point in trying to do things? I'm only going to fail anyway. I always mess everything up. So it's really going to have an effect on how you talk to other people, how confident you feel in social situations, how you approach your schoolwork if you're a teenager. If you think that, you know, I'm no good at maths, so I'm never going to be able to do maths, then maybe you'll give up trying at maths. Low self-esteem is definitely associated with those things. Um, anorexia is a really good example. If um, you feel if your self-esteem, self um, if one of the beliefs that it gives you is I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm not attractive, nobody's going to find me attractive, I'm going to be alone, then that, can, that has a really strong link with anorexia and other eating disorders because maybe those warped beliefs lead you to control your eating, to not eat healthily and to not make healthy choices. So yes, it definitely has a strong link with anorexia and also depression and all sorts of other things. Six. Four. Oh, that's hard. I don't know. I really don't know. Twelve. A six. Seven or eight. Um, I hope, yeah, I guess it's seven. Um, I still find myself pretty attractive, so, yeah, I would say around eight. Eight. Um, oh, that's a big question, and I think there's no one way of doing that. Um, there's also no easy fix. It's a long process that involves lots of different things and what might work for me might be different to what might work for you. So it's a very individual thing as well. Um, sometimes it's, it's, I talked about balance before and it's about trying to redress that balance. So whereas maybe you get into an automatic cycle of thinking, I'm bad, I'm gonna fail, I'm rubbish at this thing. You start to try to introduce some, some different thoughts and think about, well, what's the evidence for that? Am I really that bad at this thing? Um, and think, okay, well, sometimes <laughs> I don't do so well at that thing, but here's some other things I can do to try to improve my performance in that thing. Or maybe here's some more realistic ideas about that particular thing that I think I'm so bad at to try to redress some of that balance. But it's a long process. It doesn't just happen overnight, unfortunately. 7.5. Solid seven. A six. I'd be a seven because sometimes it can be annoying. Seven. I'm better than I'm better than my looks. I'll give it an eight. Yeah, six again. Well, the way I act, to be honest, I'll give myself like a seven or eight. Cause I don't think there's anything wrong with the way I act. Cause I'm being yeah. I'm being honest. I don't think there's anything wrong. I can be a bit harsh sometimes, but it's true. So I'd also give myself a seven or eight. So a ten. 
I would say um, I'm I'm a, I'm a good kid, so I'll just say uh, uh, God, I'm not find I'm not sure why I'm finding this hard. Um, nine, eight, nine, yeah. Um, some factors that might impact your self-esteem could be well, a very relevant one for in an international school is something that can. Um, affect how you feel about yourself is the number of times you move um, and that of course happens a lot in the international community as people are moving all of the time and if you think every time you move you lose something whether that's friendships or a place that can have an effect on how confident you feel when you go to a new place that's not necessarily automatic because it can also have the opposite effect and boost your self-esteem because you realise, hey, I've been in all these different places with all these different people and it's gone well. So that can boost your self-esteem as well. It can, it can, it can work both ways. Um, but other things that can affect your self-esteem might be the quality of the relationships that you have with other people. If somebody is bullied in school, for example, that will definitely knock their confidence and reduce their self-esteem, unfortunately. All kinds of life experiences, so family situations, um, physical things such as the level of your health, but there's a long, long list, lots and lots of different things. I think my main tip and the thing that I mostly try to do with the teenagers I work with in this school is, is to bring that sense of balance back in. Um, so. Try not to compare yourself with other people. Try not to pay too much attention to what the media tells you you should look like or you should behave like as well because we all know that celebrities and such like are not real people. <laughs> There's a lot of kind of unrealistic images given across in the media as to what we should do and don't compare yourself to those things either. Um, and just focus on the things that you do feel confident about. Focus on the things that you are good at because that will help boost your self-esteem as well. because I'm not that, I'm not a very confident person. I feel like modern society has just put an image into everyone's head about how you need to be and what the perfect 10 is. And if you're not like that, you're very quickly, you just go really low on the scale. Because I have a lot of things to be proud of and I, I don't lack anything. Uh, as I mentioned before, the beauty standards uh, are so high. Um, like nowadays that it's really impossible to meet up with them and you you don't know what's real and what's fake so you, your mind kind of gets upset kind of gets upset looking at pictures and then I ask myself why don't I look like this what could I do to change and stuff I compare myself to a lot of people and I compare myself to like for example their academic skills or the way they look and I'm like oh they look so much better than me or oh they're so much smarter than me or they're so much sporty I, I just compare myself too much I think it's just because I don't have the confidence to think of myself that highly. Um, I just, in general, I want to know that there's space for improvement. Well, I have, guess I have the same with social media and just people around you. But I guess if you could say being Alex, I would be 10 out of 10 of being Alex. But, you know, that's different. <laughs> um, friends, how they like act basically. You are your greatest enemy. Perfection does not exist. Like everyone has its flaws, you know. Like I can sometimes be mean to people, you know. There are always things that, that you can work on, if you know what I mean. When I'm around confident people, it makes me more confident and it, yeah. We love stars. Stars are the key to success. Yeah. And uh, they really bring back, uh, they really make you feel confident about yourself. They do. Yeah. They make you feel like a lot of positivity on the inside. See, like the sun is a star and when you tan you feel Happy. good about yourself. And, exactly. You know, you improve your looks and you're like, hey, yeah. That's just higher you... self-esteem that you get. Yeah, there. exactly. Exactly. Stars are great. Stars are great. Cool. Nice. Thanks, June. Thank you. Thank you.